Is it the fountain of youth that you found in the last few games? This is your fifth game in a row of over 20 points. Just how big is it to be able to help the way you've been able to help with what your team is going through right now? Uh, we just have guys down. I mean, we've been, uh, I, mean, I know we always talk about it, but that next man up type mentality, always talk about us celebrating each other. I mean, we got these big twin towers in here. We got Lowry playing the three. You know, guys are, you know, stepping up in different ways. We're going to get Jetty back. We're going to get Rondo all acclimated here as well. Uh, you know, Jetty, DG, I already mentioned him, but, um, you know, just us being whole. We're just a better team and we have our strength in numbers. We have everybody back. You know, obviously we had a, a big emotional hangover with, with Ricky going down and we love him. We love seeing here, him here this last game, but we all just need to pick each other up, continue to fight and continue to get better. But we scrapped in the second half. Uh, we went on our run and we never really looked back. We just, uh, we got to hit some free throws there at the end and we're going to separate ourselves a little bit more. When you talk about scrapping, what does it mean to have a guy like Brandon come in and then have a guy like Lamar in the second half? I don't think he came out. But just the way they played and what they were able to do against their guards, how, what does that mean to you guys to have new guys step up the way they did? No, Goody, Goody came in and he, uh, he ran the show last game as well. I know we didn't get a win, but it, it looked like he was comfortable. You could tell that uh, our coaching staff uh, had a lot of confidence in him. But Lamar as well, he came in and, well, Lamar really stepped up. I mean, he came in at halftime. He was very locked in. You know, he, he had the word for us in that half. I mean, at half, excuse me, he came out uh, and played both both ends of the floor. And I think that, you know, with him, with Lamar, sometimes it's not going to show up in the stat sheet. But he fights every every game. He has that dog uh, type mentality like we all have. But really, he really sets the tone for us. And, um, you know, he's, he's really helped shape our identity in a big way. He's one of those guys we don't talk about enough. All right, you're not going to get away from me without talking about yourself. <laughs> Five games in a row, 20 plus. We know what you've done throughout your career. But what does it mean to be able to show the guys that when they need you to put the ball in the bucket still, you can do it and you can do it in a big way still? Yeah, I feel great. I just, you know, I feel like, um, you know, they have a, a lot of confidence in me. I know that, you know, I was hurt last year. I wasn't able to, to, to be myself with the calf injury, but I put a lot of work in this off season and the trust never wavered from, from my teammates. You know, I stayed on them, they stayed on me. Uh, we continue to, to keep in communication. Uh, you know, whether it be, you know, FaceTimes or texts or, you know, in our group chat, we have that dogs group chat. Um, no, nah, but really just continue to, to stay humble, uh, you know, put on for this city. This is my eighth season here. I'm loving it. And it's just fun to see these guys grow every single day. I know that we've, I mentioned that, that emotional hangover with Ricky uh, and getting our guys back, but we continue to fight. We continue to, to step up and it's, it's, you know, no different than myself. I just want to carry my weight and help these guys have success. Well, thank you. As we enter this new year, I know there's a lot of Cavs plans that are excited about what they're going to get to see yeah. for the rest of this season. And a big part of it has been you. Great job tonight, Kevin. Appreciate you. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Let's get back to Josh.